Hey everyone, it's us, the Brownstone Boys. I'm Jordan and this is Barry. We are renovation project managers, interior designers, and avid DIYers. We also live in the greatest city in the world, Brooklyn, New York. We're teaming up with Flagstar Bank to provide a five video series all about buying a fixer-upper, budgeting a renovation, planning a renovation, the best room in the house, the kitchen, and also putting those DIY skills to use. Blackstar is a leader within the mortgage space as one of the nation's largest mortgage originators. They offer mortgage solutions in all 50 states, as well as financial resources to help new and existing home buyers throughout the home buying, selling, and renovation process. Today, we are reporting live from the Brooklyn Bridge, and our dream was to live in very close proximity to this bridge. <laughs> But then our budget came into play and we definitely had to broaden our search. In today's video, hopefully we'll give you some helpful resources if you are about to begin a search. So if you were planning on buying a fixer upper and tackling a renovation, stick to the end of this video. We're gonna provide some helpful resources from Flagstar Bank that you're gonna wanna check out. And if you have any questions along the way, make sure you drop them in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer each and every question. So here we are in Prospect Heights, Brooklyn, New York. This is where my New York City story started. I remember just graduating college and I had a friend that had an extra room inside a five bedroom apartment in this neighborhood. I knew nothing about the city, nothing about Brooklyn, and I learned very quickly that that space is gonna be super temporary because it was a very small apartment <laughs> that we all crammed into, but I felt something in this neighborhood. And I remember walking down these brownstone streets and just dreaming one day I would be able to afford an apartment inside a brownstone. And that led me to find my studio apartment that I lived in for 15 years. <laughs> 15 years is a long time I to know. stay in one place in New York City. I know, and you saw the place. Yeah. But I stayed put because I really loved the owner and his family. They became my extended family here in New York as my family's out in the West. And because of that, he never raised the rent on me. And I really was allowed to save a lot of money. So my story is a little bit different. I rented for a long time, and then I decided that I had to buy something. I really didn't have the money to do it. Yeah. So I had to get very creative with a few things. And so I went to a neighborhood that I wasn't really familiar with, and I also had to start small, and I had to get a one-bedroom apartment for my first place. I had to scrape together every single dime I could get my hands on to buy this place. I lived in that place for two years. The neighborhood was up and coming and, and got a little trendier while I lived there. And because of that, I was able to sell that place for a little bit more than I bought it for. And so I bought a two bedroom apartment, but it needed renovations. And I was excited about that. It was my first renovation that I've ever done. I lived there for two years, enjoyed it very, very much. And after two years, I decided it was time to sell again. And I sold it for a lot more money than I bought it for. And that gave me the ability to actually buy two apartments. And I lived in one and rented out the other. So that takes us to when we met. We shared this mutual dream of owning a brownstone, but we knew there was no way we could do it in this neighborhood that you've lived in for 15 years. So we took that dream and we decided, how can we make this happen? One of our biggest pieces of advice for anyone looking for their dream home is to broaden your search. When you open yourself up to neighborhoods that you, you didn't really think of as your ideal location at first, it not only can help you find a place that fits in your budget, but it also potentially is an area that might offer you the opportunity to experience a lot of appreciation. And you know, something I always look back on that was a lot of fun while we were searching for the perfect place was exploring new and different neighborhoods. We really weren't familiar with all the areas in Brooklyn. So we went out, we explored, we tried new restaurants. We went back at different bars in the evening, make sure the vibe was fitting for us. And I just remember that being a really fun time. 
So our second piece of advice is to look for a fixer-upper. You might not find your dream home that's move-in ready in your price range, but if you're open to doing some work, maybe even a lot of work, you can make something your own. When we walked into our place, we both knew that there was a lot of work needing to be mm -hmm. done, but we saw past that. We saw what the vision could be. Granted, it came with a lot of work, but sometimes buying a fixer-upper is probably the best part of a renovation because you can make it exactly what you want it to be. So our third piece of advice is to start small. You might not be able to go from renting to moving straight into your dream home. So buy a smaller apartment, pay down the mortgage for a few years. Hopefully the neighborhood appreciated and the apartment did as well. You can sell that and pull that equity out to move to the next step. So you might have to take baby steps and climb the property ladder, as they say, before you get to the point of actually owning your dream home. So a resource I wish we had when we were looking for our home might be helpful if you're looking for a home of your own is this resourceful article from Blackstar Bank. They put together a really useful and incredible article about picking the perfect neighborhood for your home search. I really wish we had this because within this article, they break down everything you need to know from the school districts to the safety to all of the tips and tricks of honing in on a specific neighborhood that fits your needs. So we're gonna drop the link in the description below. Give it a read and hopefully it's helpful in your search for finding the perfect home. Check out Flagstar Bank at flagstar.com. Also check out Flagstar's YouTube channel for financial tips and tricks.